morning everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new here please go ahead and hit that like button and smash that bell icon so every time I do a video you'll get a notification today we're going to talk about weed control in the garden guys welcome back today the topic is the weed control and I this is one of the most irritating jobs to have in a garden as you can see on my little all my corn is coming up my okra is coming up the sunflowers are coming up but do I have a vegetable garden in here or did I plant grass? Because look how green and beautiful this grass is. <clears throat> There's several things you can do for weed control. And uh, I'm going to tell you it's just as hard controlling the weeds in a garden as it is taking care of a garden. Now, look at, look at all the green. That's all weeds. That's all grass. Now you can tell the difference in the corn. See the corn and the grass. And uh, really, there's not a lot you can do about it. Uh, I will do some weed control in here today. Will I get 90, Will I get 100% of it? I highly doubt it. Am I going to try? Absolutely. I want to get all the weeds out of here that I can get. Now, if you notice, I left a good walkway between the runs and the outside. <clears throat> that leaves me room to get my tiller in here and start tilling. And what that'll do is that'll upturn the grass that's in the walkways and kind of break down the, the, uh, the work load as far as having to be, be down on your hands and knees and pulling weeds. Although that's exactly what's gonna have to happen. You're gonna have to get down and dirty and start pulling weeds. But let me show you something else. Now here is another way you can battle the pesty weeds. And I will show you because my wife, Teresa, absolutely hates pulling weeds. So we made this raised bed garden for her. And where I'm standing is about four inches of thick of mulch. Underneath the mulch is cardboard. Underneath the cardboard is fabric paper. You see it's hanging out right here. And lo and behold, right in the middle of all of this is a weed <laughs> it's from the birds. she says it's from the birds dropping seeds which is very well could be but in her raised beds same thing you see the fabric cloth there's cardboard underneath all of this and more weeds now i grant you it's not as many weeds as i have in my garden but it just goes to show no matter how much work you do and what you do you're still going to get weeds more weeds right up through the mulch right up through the cardboard right up through the fabric paper and let's go take a look over here okay she literally poured uh, a 12 inch slab of concrete all the way around her raised bed she did this by herself you can see the 
you can see the concrete right there the decorative big old blocks right there and what is that more weeds and it doesn't matter there's more right here what you do in our my humble opinion you're gonna have weeds other than taking some weed killer and trying to uh, spray it and then you take the chance of the wind picking up your weed killer and getting on your plants but you can see the concrete all the way around and you can see the weeds so all I can say is no matter what you do how hard you try you're still gonna have weeds I hate to disappoint y'all everybody that wants to have raised bed gardens because they are sick of pulling weeds or they want to try to eliminate the eliminate the weeds with weeds in the grass from your garden I'm sorry folks not gonna happen I hate to bust y'all's bubble <laughs> but it is what it is now like in my garden uh, am I worried about the weeds no the weeds will take up some uh, vital nutrients that the uh, that the vegetables need to grow and therefore I will till in most that I can pull most that I can to try to eliminate uh, a lot of the um, the nutrient thieves that we have in our garden but uh, yeah it is what it is and it's a battle that you're gonna have to deal with your entire gardening season now I want to ask y'all if y'all have a garden and you have figured out a way to have a beautiful garden without all the pesty weeds please share it with me because we have tried everything um, Teresa wanted to uh, maybe put fabric cloth over the hills and I told her no I said we're not doing that because I already know by looking at her garden that it doesn't doesn't really help and I wanted this garden to be all natural there's no fertilizers in this garden at all and you can see how healthy everything is growing all we did is till up the earth till up the old stuff that was in it and just planted seeds and as you can see everything is coming up that I planted three rows of corn a whole row of okra and two rows of sunflower seeds so this is my test garden people say you have to have fertilizers 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 help but it's not a must if you got good soil because you know they probably way back in the day didn't use a bunch of store-bought fertilizers they used what they had around their house which was probably human fertilization and uh i don't want to do that so <laughs> anyway guys uh as i always say Tell your loved ones you love them because you never know what tomorrow brings. I am going to get to the episodes of my favorite YouTube channels. Uh, haven't done that yet. We had a whole lot of stuff happen to us yesterday. And, uh, yeah, very crazy going on. Crazy stuff going on in the world. But anyway, tell your loved ones you love them because you never know what tomorrow brings. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video or not because I would not want to enjoy watching a video of somebody telling me that uh, there's nothing you can do about it but work your patootie off to make it better and that's what I'm fixing to do but anyway guys please hit the like button subscribe please share this video if you watched it to the end and uh, we'll talk to y'all later have a good one